We just arrived here at the Grand Central Market in Los Angeles. It took us a while to get into this parking spot because it's so tight and it's all very crowded. But the Grand Central Market is an iconic place in Los Angeles. It was started in 1917. Wow. 1917. That's amazing. Oh, no. Interrupted. <laughs> I was going to say that we are here at the Grand Central Market, started in 1917. Wow. It is a, like an iconic place here in Los Angeles. And um, uh, it was said to be the biggest and the finest public marketplace in Los Angeles in the West Coast at that time. And at that time, Los Angeles was the 10th most populated city in the United States. Now it's number two. Um, and this city, this um, marketplace has more than 40 different eating places that you can go to. And it represents like the immigrant culture that helped build this city. So we are really excited to be here. Yes. I mean, there are 40 different places. Um, we can't try all 40. So we selected a few of them and we're going to feature them and they all look so good. So this has something for everybody whatever you have a taste for if you like sweets if you like savory if you like drinking it's all here all right so follow you Anna yes let's go to start now well i made a list out of 11 12 places here so i'm going to discuss with him where he wants to go and what he has a taste for so i mean there's there's a place here that's supposed to have the best um you know hamburgers in the city and they have korean fried chicken and everything God. Lucky Bird Maple Block Meat. Let's go there. That's a barbecue place. Moon Rabbit. And look at this. Sorry, sorry, store 19. I didn't see that. So it's a Filipino. Shiku. That's 11. So 11 and 19. Where's 11? 11. Uh, 11 and 19. Where's 19? 11 and 19. So 11 is the Shiku. And 19 is Sorry Sorry Store. So we have to check that out. Wexler's Deli Sticky Rice. Cash card only, that's good. Look at that. Wow. I love that. Sorry. Look, Hanoi barbecue rings, caramel chili chicken rings. Woo! Let's turn my note. Okay, this place, uh, China Cafe, I read about. It's called a legacy vendor. It's been here more than 50 years. Let's do fried rice. So this is really one of the oldest places here. But I want to see other places too. I don't want to. I know we're gonna. I, I'm figuring like if we could actually sample about five or six places, that would be good. I don't know if my stomach can take it, but we're gonna try. So I want to try the hamburger place. It's called 
for the win hamburger place. It's supposed to be the best in LA, so we'll see if it really is. Then I want to go to the Korean place to try Korean fried chicken. And then they have an oyster place that serves lobster rolls. Mm -hmm. God, it's overwhelming. Let's go. Let's go. Most to go is also another legacy vendor. They've been here for more than fifty years. <laughs> That's a produce place. Roast to go, legacy Mexican. Well grouped together by by similar um, you know ethnic cuisines. And Sticky Rice is a Thai restaurant. Uh, and then over here you have Oleo, wood-fired pizzas. And that's a classic deli, Wexler's Deli. Pasta place, they have all these different type of Italian pastas, different sauces. We'll just go with this straight lobster, you know, because that turns into a, like a $40 sandwich. But, you know, fish and chips. Hi, we would like to split a world famous lobster roll. Would you guys like to have that warm with butter or filled yeah, with mayo? Warm with, with butter. butter. Uh -huh. Yes. Like any side with it, french fries, chowder, chips. Oh. We're going to be sampling everything, so we need to preserve this, you know. Okay. Twenty-eight oh three. We don't want that. It's gonna be on this night. That will be your present for pickup. Give that about eight minutes or so, and you will be picking up onto your right side. Did it go through? It oh. did not. It did. Oh, right here. Oh, sorry. There we go. Now I got. There we go. Sorry. You order. So what I ordered. Was the world? Can you get a sticker? Yes. Sticker. A sticker. Thank you. It's a world famous lobster roll, and we're splitting it. It's we're getting the. They have it served two types: warm with butter, which is what we want, or chilled with mayo. So we want it warm with that. No sides because we're going to be tapping some other foods too. Yeah. Oysters, they have oysters, Rockefeller, live sea urchin. Sea urchin, if you haven't tried it, it's amazing. It tastes like butter. Right here. Thank you very much. That's cut in half. You're not gonna want yours. I'll have to eat it. Mm. 
You can tell the lobster is really fresh, cooked perfectly, just the right amount of salt and spices, and it's really buttery. It's so good. I'll try. Mm. And I love the bread. The bread is crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. Ooh, this is like how much? Mm. I don't know. This is like twenty-five dollars. Mm. That is good. That's really good. Worth it. God, that's good. Well, let's let's try something else now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Okay, I want to I want to fish that first and then. What are they? Should we try one of those or the ha hamburger? Yeah. Hamburger. Okay, let's go for the hamburger. Teddy's Tiny Bites has miniature pancake things, you know, little snacks or something. Mini pancakes, see? Show them this. Hi, how you doing? My God. Too bad Sorry Sorry Store is not open because it features a lot of good, some of our favorite Philippine foods. Come with grilled onions, pickles. No cash. All burgers come with you. You go ahead. Okay. Clearly, a very, very popular place. It's something like a 20, 30 minute wait. So we're in line right now, and we know what we're gonna order. We're gonna try and split it. If we can't split it, we get two separate orders. Hi, I had a question. If we ordered a double cheeseburger, can they split it in half for us? Okay, we would like a double cheeseburger with bacon. And also um, a can of, um, what do you call it, Diet Coke? That's it. All right. Double cheeseburger with bacon cut in half and a Diet Coke is 17 30. Okay.
Thank you. Baby number 30. So, how do we know? Oh, they'll say. They're gonna call it a roll in air. So, this is like a sound void for some reason. So, if you're very diligent, you have to not be caught up in conversation. Listen to them talking. I'm, par I'm partially deaf anyway, so, oh, so what did we get? I'm so excited. We got the double cheeseburger, and all burgers come with grilled onions, pickles on a toasted Martin's potato bun. And we decided to add bacon with that, and we're gonna enjoy some diet. Don't do that. So we're just gonna split it and try it. You're right. Because okay. we have like three or four more places to go. You're waiting anxiously, and um, we're number 33. They just called 23, so we just have to be patient. So all good things, you know, are worth waiting for. Yeah, Do you believe that? Three. I'm starving. <laughs> and look, you're still smiling. Yes, you gotta smile. You gotta be optimistic. But this one, I'm excited. And a big up on the corner, but it's gonna be. Yes, they got it. It's not too good. That's a very nice smash burger. It's two layers, has nice cheesy taste, and you can taste the bacon. The bacon's really crisp. They cut it in half for us. Just perfect. That's good. It's so yummy. Mm. That is so good. Mm. Yeah, you can taste the cheese. Oh my god. I could have eaten the whole thing myself. But you have to share because sharing is scary. That's really good. I have this pie. It's gonna be too much if I eat the whole thing. So far. I don't think so. Huh? I can eat this again. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Adam. But thank you. Mm. 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 What do you think? Oh, okay. All gone. If you, if you can't finish it, I'll be glad to help you. <laughs> and the price is not bad, right? It's like 14 bucks. No, it's like um, 17 bucks. No, actually, um, uh, can I get the bacon? Yeah, yeah I can get the bacon and everything. I'm sorry. That's okay. Oh. That's really good. It's the spot. Yeah, that's right. Really is for the win. FTW. Excellent. This place looks good. They make their own carnitas. It's supposed to be very good. 300 pounds a day.
except this Shifu, a Korean restaurant. So we're gonna check that out. at Chico, which is a, a Korean restaurant, and they are featuring some of our favorite dishes, so we're going to have a look at it. So I was thinking, I'm not gonna try the Korean fried chicken, let's get spicy. Would you like to get the combo plate or just the brisket? We'll just get the uh, the brisket, okay? What can I do for you? Yeah, I'd like to order one. We're gonna split a combo plate okay. with a brisket. All right, you want that for here? Uh, for here, yeah. What else? That's it. Okay. It's gonna be 26, 28. Perfect. Hang on to this. When that's all ready, we'll bug you to the window over Fantastic. there. Fantastic. Please, give us just a few minutes, we'll get you at the window. Thank you so much. What are we having? Well, we are having the combo plate with sliced smoked brisket served with mac and cheese and creamy slaw and cornbread. Oh, yay! Should we go by side by side? One for you, one for me, and then St. Pat's is it. So what we have here, okay, this is the brisket, it looks so good, maybe we should get more brisket. Has the cornbread, the mac and cheese, pickles, and coleslaw. So we're gonna dig in, tuck into this, and see how good it is. Come on, Marconi. Put the camera down for a while. Mm -hmm. So tender, so barbecuey, so moist, and so yummy. <laughs> Marconi, you better dig into this now because I'm going to eat it all. I think we should have gotten the half a pound. Delicious. Mm. Mm. I think it's just right. No, I want more meat. But look at that. Mm. Get the cold stuff, try the other stuff. People are like, they're in here, right? They're sharing because they want to try everything. Good pork. So good. How juicy and moist this brisket is, it's really good. Mm -hmm. is really good. It's very refreshing. Mm -hmm. This place here has been here since 1970. 
it's over a century yeah. ago. I can't believe I mean the Grand Central Market. Happy? Very, very happy. But also excited to try some new things too. Checking my list of 12 places. Uh, we're starting to fill up right now, but we feel like we have to push for at least a minimum of five to say that we really visited this place. I know. So tacos, Chinese food, we can get to other places like fried chicken. So let's try a bakery. They have Bastion Bakery and the Donut Man. So let's take a look at both of those choices. Then we can decide which one we want up for. Donut Man. Look at this. Bourbon chocolate pecan. Triple chocolate. They have coconut oatmeal raisin. Lavender blueberry pie. I think most of them are gone. Look at this. Key lime pie. I love key lime pie. Chocolate chest pie. And yuzu meringue. Wow. Thank you. Who would have thought? We can get our coffee here. Bastion Bakery. Look at this. BK bun. Choco banana croissant dough filled with caramelized banana compote chocolate ganache. So we cut that in half. That looks good. Coconut donut, chocolate walnut cookie, guava and cheese croissant. Wow. Mixed berry crostata. Pistachio strawberry cake. in line just to get this done yes this place that we are because we figured we got to mix up you know some savory and now it's like dessert time so we're here at the donut man and this place has been around for years we started some other place in la but this is like a, a branch of it and what they're known for is their strawberry stuffed donuts i mean the thing is humongous and it's filled with strawberries. That's what made them famous. They also do um, peaches, you know, stuff with peaches. So we're gonna try, like everybody else, the most popular thing that made them famous. It's a strawberry donut, so. Yes. And two cups of coffee. You know. I'm getting full, are you getting full? I'm starting to get there, so I think that this will be the fourth place. If we can squeeze in one more, then I figure we set out to achieve our goals. We got our goal. And they will have coffee. They will have coffee. Yes. Any one of these? Yeah. Get this marriage call. Thank you. 
strawberry donut uh -huh. and one cream cheese raspberry donut uh -huh. and two small fresh brewed coffees room for cream with the coffee uh, with one of them cream and sugar one of them black got it oh 15 hours even next what's oh here next yeah Yeah, I haven't gone to try all of them yet, but I have those. What are those on, on, on the side there? On the third row down? Yeah, just glazed on it. Just glazed on it? Oh, I love glaze. Still my favorite. Classic. Okay, we are about to try the famous strawberry filled donut. And they said that the best way to eat it is with your hands all this way. I'm not gonna mess myself up. So I'm gonna eat it, at least start it with a fork. And then afterwards I'll munch down with my hands. Strawberry is so fresh and so sweet. Yeah. I'm surprised. It tastes so fresh. I'm gonna try. Okay. Mm. That's the real deal. It's so good with this donut. Mm. Tastes good with the strawberry. Mm. Mm. It's almost like a strawberry shortcake without the cream. Mm -hmm. And the donut itself is so good. The donut, mm -hmm. I think it's made with potato starch if I'm not mistaken. And it really holds in, it's not too soggy. So it really encapsulates the um, strawberry. And so you're biting down on something really nice. I need a second bite. It's so refreshing. Wow. And that's a good glazed donut, I'll tell you. Mm. Don't have to snap for the mix queens out there. Shoot. Whoa. He meant the neat queens. <laughs> oh, mm. No, mess queens, so because they'll be messier. That is so good. Last bite. That's yours. That was amazing. Perfect. And we have one more for later. This is the cream cheese raspberry, which we will try later. Yeah, I take it home. Thank you, Donut Man. Yeah. So good. And they've been in the business for over 40 years. It's fantastic. Oh. Happy. Wow. Oh. This coffee really hits a spot now. Okay, so, so far, we had a lobster roll sandwich. We had a delicious smash burger with cheese, a double cheeseburger with bacon. We had, um, 
A uh, donut man. We had a donut, a strawberry filled donut. And we had barbecue. We had the, the what do you call it? The barbecue brisket with the sides. Save my thought. So that's four things, you know. I'm planning on going back to the Korean place, Shiku, and trying the Korean fried chicken because I love, it's a snack. You know, we can always sample some and take the rest to go. So we'll see how that is. Yes. since then but uh, could we have a uh, Korean fried chicken and with two forks oh spicy that's it you want to try this all right okay so now we've got the last meal of the day we just came from Shiko, which is home-style Korean restaurant. Yes. And we have two chopsticks, and we have one of the favorite things. Korean fried chicken, spicy. So we're gonna give this a taste. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Is it spicy or is it just temperature high? <laughs> mm. Wow, but look at this. Oh my god. That's very good. And it was temperature hot. I put the whole thing in my mouth and it's like 2000 degrees there. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. We also wanted to order the um, kimchi braised pork belly, but we're just too full to eat it. But next time, definitely. Mm. Can I be honest? I think your Korean chicken is as good as this one. My God, you really nailed it now. Your Korean fried chicken. Thank you. I make yeah. Korean fried chicken at home. Mm. Here. Okay, we're gonna take the rest of it home. So, to recap, I think that's it for us for today, huh? Yep. So we did a, I think we did really well. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mal. Out of 40 different places, we hit five. Yeah. Which is one eighth, which is what, 12% or something like that. But anyway, there's okay. more for next time. I mean, this is a place that you gotta visit yeah. because it has something for every, everyone. Yeah. Whether you're vegetarian, if you're a carnivore, if you're an omnivore or whatever. <laughs> and this reminds us, this place reminds us of those that we've been to in Spain and Lisbon. Yeah, so Spain has a wonderful place where they have many different places. You can also, in Lisbon, they have a place called Time Out Market. Time Out Market in Lisbon. And they have like 80 different places yeah. there to eat. I mean, that's incredible. But in Spain, it's the Mercado. It's like, it's gorgeous. And a lot of tapas and things like that. But here, you can't fall. This place is not a second to anyone. The food has been amazing. Food is great. So, we'll see you again. Bye. That was such an amazing experience. <laughs> I'm happy. I have to pay for parking now.